Welcome to Honest News. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Thank you for your support, Honest News Network. I've been born Last night, I was studying about the mark of the beast. And as I was studying about it, I thought, I'll just type in, in the search engine, slaves to the beast. And the reason I was going to do that is because I found as I was studying this this verse, that uh, the Greek words have to do with those that are going to be enslaved uh, to the beast. And um, the mark of the beast has to do with servitude. So this mark that they're going to receive in their right hand or forehead is going to, uh, is going to be a mark of servitude. So I typed in slaves to the beast. And lo and behold, there is a very demonic, uh, and they don't consider themselves death metal. They consider it black metal, which they say is catered to the left-hand path or the left, yeah, left-hand path. Uh which is Satanism. It's uh, basically Luciferianism. And the whole idea is the left-hand path has to do with self, building up self, self-centeredness. And the right-hand path has to do with everybody coming together collectively. So, basically, it's Satan worship is what it is. And so... The name of one of their songs on their in their album is Slaves to the Beast. And that's something. Slaves to the Beast. They're coming right out and admitting that they are slaves to the beast. So I wanted to mention that uh, as a preface to the message. There are those that are preparing, that are getting ready to worship the beast. Um, so it's not like there's not those that are already in a position or a place to worship the beast. They're already getting ready. Revelation chapter 13, verse 17. By the way, that that uh, death metal or black metal group out of France, um, they've got tremendous support. They get a tremendous following. So it's not just them; it's those that support them that bought that buy their music. And I just want to say this too. They do not consider themselves uh, a band. They actually consider themselves a religious group. Think about that. They don't sell themselves as though that they are just another genre out there. They sell themselves as a religion. Okay? And we know that those that are going to worship the beast, that's going to be spiritual, right? That's going to be religion. So just keep that in mind as well. Revelation chapter 13, verse 17, if you'd like to follow in the reading of God's word, 
and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for your mercy. You've given us ample time. You've given us much warning. Your people are not in any position to make excuses or to say they didn't know. You have made it plain. You told us in your word, Lord, that these things would happen, these things will come. So we pray, Lord, that your people, once again being reminded that these things are coming to pass, just as the Word of God says. It will happen just like the Word of God says. So, Lord, we pray that you will help us to deliver this message, that you will bless this message, Lord, and anoint this message, we pray. In the name of Jesus, we give you all the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel his presence. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I praise your holy name, Lord. Praise your name, Lord. You are worthy. You are so worthy, God. Praise your name, Lord. So, before the mark of the beast can be issued, something's got to happen in the uh, currency. Something's got to happen. Now, that doesn't mean that the currency has to be replaced. Now, I want you to understand something. The Bible doesn't say that it's the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name that is the currency. It doesn't say that. It just says without this, they will not be able to buy or sell. But that doesn't mean that currency is going away. And right now, the world, I believe, is preparing to go back to silver and gold. And we see in the scripture, there's coming a time when they're going to throw their silver in the streets. And the Bible says the gold will be removed. So does scripture support that the world is going to go back to a gold and silver currency? I believe so. I believe that. Without question, it'll be digital, but what will back the digits will be gold and silver. Now, that being said, the mark of the beast, again, is a mark of servitude. And what I began to understand as I was studying last night is those that are going to worship the beast are going to be slaves. Are you listening? I think sometimes we think that the people are going to willingly worship the beast. Let me un help you understand what's going to happen. Tyranny is going to take over the earth. Are you listening? And those that receive this mark, they are in a position where they are being forced they're going to either trust in the system or they're going to trust in God. Are you listening? That's what it's coming down to. You're going to trust in God or you're going to trust in the system. And there are many today that are already trusting in the system. And that's what we see. We see those that trust in the system, the world system, 
they are the ones that are going to uh, reject God. I remember when I was in Bible school, I went up to the park one day, and I was sharing Jesus with the people in the park, and I came across this one homeless man and was sharing Jesus with him, and he said these words to me. He said, my God is the government. And that struck me. So I said, what do you mean your, your God is the government? He says, they pay my bills. Are you listening? They pay my bills. They give me a check every month. So this homeless man was looking at the government as his God. Think about that. Do you suppose that there are others out there with that same mentality that would like to see a society where everything is taken care of for them? Because that's what the Democrats want to bring in. Socialism. And that's what is happening right now in this world, is the world is coming under tyranny. It's coming under a socialistic uh, dictatorship. And the Bible says there will be that wicked, the men of sin, that is going to rule this world. I may know that. So the whole world is going to worship the beast. And uh, it will be a kingdom that is run by fear. The Bible says because of the fear of death, all their lifetime they were subject to bondage. And that's exactly how Satan is going to rule his kingdom. But I wanted to share these things with you to help you understand that the mentality today is, oh, well, everybody's going to receive this mark of the beast, and it's just going to be peace and safety, and everything's just going to be wonderful. No, it's not going to be that at all. It's going to be tyranny, oppressive. Are you listening? It's going to be an oppressive system, a, a uh, ruling with an iron fist system. And those that have the the wealth in this world will rule with the beast. In fact, the scripture says that there will be 10 kings that are going to give their power to the beast for one hour. So we see in the scripture that there are kings on the earth that are already preparing to give their power, to give their authority, to give everything to the beast. Are you listening? That, that's what's going to happen on the earth. And so that is the system that is going to be taking over the earth. It will be tyranny. It will be a dictatorship. It will be the beast. And as the scripture says, there will be also the false prophet that will prepare the way for the beast and that will be the speaker, the mouthpiece for the beast. And even when the, the uh, man of sin receives a deadly wound, uh, that he will, um, he will, uh, how do I say it, represent the, the first beast, and he will um, cause the world to worship an image to that first beast. And that will be, without question, the false prophet, as the Scripture says. Now, who would that false prophet be? It's very possible it could be the Pope. And so uh, you see the influence that the Pope has today. And so I do believe we're seeing all of this coming together right now. Now, who are these ten kings that are going to give their power to the beast? We're not going to get into that in this message, but there are 10 kings, according to the scripture, that are going to give their power to the beast for one hour. And then the nations will be gathered against Israel, 
God has put it in their minds to destroy her with fire, Israel. Are you listening? In fact, it says God has put it in their hearts to destroy her with fire. Who is her? The woman that rides the beast. Who is this woman that rides the beast? Without question, it's Israel. It's Israel, the whore of Babylon. Uh, And so God is going to cause 10 kings to give their power to the beast, and and they're going to gather against Israel. Are you listening? And that will come, uh, bring us towards uh, what the Bible calls the Battle of Armageddon. Amen. So I just wanted you to understand that this mark of the beast is not the actual currency. This mark that they receive is they're enslaved. The beast owns them. You know, the scriptures, Jesus, the scripture says, you're not your own, you've been bought with a price. Right? Well, if you're not going to be owned by the Lord, you'll be owned by the devil. You'll be owned by the beast system. Either way, you're going to be owned. And people today that think that they're free, they think their money makes them free, they don't realize their money is actually a trap. In fact, the more money you have, the more of a trap you're in. Think about that for a moment. The more wealth you have, the harder it is to give it up. Are you listening? Oh, yeah, it's easy to give up a few dollars, but to give up billions, millions of dollars? There's more millionaires in the United States now than there's ever been and around the world. But understand, the more money you have, the more difficult it's going to be to even see your way to accept Jesus as your Savior. Jesus said it was a hard thing for a rich man to enter the kingdom. Amen? So money's not the answer. Money's not going to deliver them. Silver and gold's not going to deliver them. Amen? This is where things are going, people. This is where things are going. And the scripture tells us you can't serve God and mammon too. Just want you to understand that. Money is not the answer. You think because you have more money, you get less problems? Talk to those that have the billions of dollars. You'll find out they have more problems with the money than they did without the money. In fact, those that the more wealth you have, the more you become a target. Just think about the money that goes into the security of those that have great wealth. Think about that. They're not safe. They have to keep security around them at all times. Their homes have to be gated and they have to have tremendous security. Does that sound like peace? Does that sound like safety? Sure does to me. They think they're safe. They think they're experiencing peace behind their gated communities. But how many know? Sudden destruction will not. They will not escape. They will not escape. Amen. It's coming like a freight train, people. Everything is set up. It's coming very quickly. It's coming very quickly. So please, don't look for a currency change or don't look for money or digital money to be the mark of the beast. It's not. It's not. The the mark is simply a mark of servitude to the beast. That's what it is. And all those that receive that mark are owned. They're owned by the beast. They're his. They're his slaves. God says, if you you won't serve me, you will serve the beast. You will will serve the devil. And he's not going to be very kind to you. I may know that. 
those that are going to be here under the beast kingdom while the wrath of God is being poured out? You think it's going to be enjoyable on this earth while Satan pours out his wrath in the first three and a half years and then God pours out his wrath in the last three and a half years? You think the earth is going to be a very pleasant place to be with all hell breaking loose? I mean, folks, listen. The devil, after the bride is taken, not the church, but the bride, after the bride is taken, the devil is going to come down unto the earth having great wrath. He knows he has a short time. The church is still going to be here. When the devil comes down onto the earth, I'm listening to some preachers right now that are saying they believe the rapture is going to occur in 2020. They're so deceived. They're so deceived, folks. The rapture is not going to occur in 2020. The bride very well could be taken, though. Amen. So let's be looking up. Amen. Straightening up, looking up. Our redemption is drawing near. God bless you. We've got the power. In the name of Jesus, we've got... Thank you for your support of Honest News Network. In the name of the Lord, though Satan rages, we cannot be defeated. We've got the power in the name of the Lord.